Before we get into the video, I've been hearing some rumours going around about me, so I just thought I'd break the silence. Ah! Now that we've broke the silence, let's get into the video. You know Desmos, that graphing calculator people use to plot functions? Well, why can't we play Minecraft on Desmos? We can play Minecraft on Scratch, we can play Minecraft on a calculator, heck, we can even play Minecraft in Minecraft. The rule is, if it has inputs, processors, and outputs, it's a computer. And if it's a computer, it can play Minecraft. But can something as complex as Minecraft really be built on a website that was designed to teach kids about graphs? Well, yes, probably. Not. But in 1800, people were travelling by a horse and cart until one day Henry Ford was like, no, I'm going to invent a big metal box on wheels and use a combustion engine to move it around. No! And people thought Henry Ford was crazy, and you know what? He was. But because of him, I now fantasise about moving everything I own into a Ford Transit and travelling across the world. So that's why I'm making Minecraft in Desmos. So first you open up Desmos and then you click off the video because I'm about to teach you something and nobody cares. But if you do care, then click the links in the description to see how it works. And if you just want the ADHD version, then here it is. <gasps> if I'm looking at an object outside of my window, then to find the position that the object appears to me, I just need to find the place where the window intersects with my line of sight. If I do a lot of math, then I'll find that the position that the object appears on the window is the focal length times the difference between the X coordinates over the Y coordinates, and I've just transformed a 2D image onto a 1D line. So to transform a 3D image onto a 2D window, you just do the same thing only twice. <gasps> now you can move around, but you still can't rotate the camera, so instead you rotate the universe around the camera using this thing called a rotation matrix, so you can have a look around the cube. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it looks, you just take this vector, light along the top, and then multiply it by all the things below it one by one, adding each row together until you get a new vector, which is the position vector of the rotated point. <gasps> But what if I want to look at more than just a cube? How about two cubes? Three cubes? Four cubes? Oh no, it's starting to lag! It's lagging because I'm plotting all the faces of the cubes. When we only really need to plot the faces facing towards us. <gasps> We can find the faces facing towards us using this thing called a dot product. The dot product works by multiplying the top two together, then the middle two, then the bottom two, and then adding all of these together. This gives us the product of the absolute values of the vectors multiplied by the cosine of the angle between them. But this part is not important because this part is always positive. But cosine theta is sometimes negative, specifically when the angle between the two vectors is between 90 and 270 degrees, which is exactly when a face is facing towards us. <gasps> Now we're only plotting half the faces, so we can have double the cubes. So many cubes that in fact I can build a sky block with a tree, and I can move around using these buttons here, and I can also move my camera by just dragging this little orange thing around. So there you have it, Minecraft in Desmos. Let's give it a play, shall we? Obviously this is gonna need a little bit more work, but I can only afford to do that if you guys want to see it. After all, if it wasn't for you guys, I'd just be another homeless guy on the street offering inappropriate services for cash. And it's because of you that instead of that, I'm just another YouTuber offering my sanity begging for cash online. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a part two where I fix this bug, add shadows, place blocks, mine blocks, like, comment, subscribe, and piss off.